Hey there everybody, Melissa here with In The Nitty Gritty and Coaching With Melissa, how are you? Today I wanna talk about visibility. And this is a passion of mine, is a focus of mine, and I believe if you have a brick and mortar, this is where you need to be focusing your energy, okay? This strategy is not Instagram. This strategy is not Facebook. This strategy is not how many likes or how many views or any of that. I do not focus on that. My focus with my brick and mortar, and this is for anybody who is a service-based, uh, product-based, you can do this, I mean, you don't need a brick and mortar, but you do need to have your own identity as what I mean is your own website, okay? And what I focus on are reviews, okay? So if you have a business where you have your own website, MLMs, this is not pertaining to you. This is for people who have their own website. All right. You need to claim your Google page. If you have not done that, that is number one. You need to do that. Google, Google pages and do your Google page. Then I want you to brand it, make it your own and get it up to date. All right. I had, when you coach with me, I'm gonna go further into that on getting more visibility with other things that you can do with this, but the number one thing I want you to do is right there. Then I want you to go all, to all your clients, past clients, current clients, and ask them for a review, okay? The number one way, the number one way I get business in my brick and mortar is through reviews and word of mouth, okay? And the word of mouth is awesome, but people go for that third party testimony and that is with your review, okay? So get your reviews, have a system in place. So I'm gonna share with you my system, all right? But the first thing you're gonna do is get that Google um, page up and running, and then you're gonna ask people that you have served in the past and currently for a review, okay? You want to be the number one thing coming up when people search for what you do okay, and what your service is, okay? I need a house cleaner in Plymouth, Wisconsin, and I want your business to be the first person to come out, okay? So what I do for my, th my, for my strategy is I solicit people in my tribe, okay, every month, and I have day of the week that this email goes out, and in that email, I say you've been hand selected, and I ask them for a review, Okay, I make it super easy. I ask them for an honest review. Okay, because I don't want just five stars. I want honest. Coincidentally, they're all five stars, but I can't control that. I want them to give me an honest review and I want them to leave something of transformation. I kind of guide them in what I want them to say. I don't want them to say how amazing I am as much as I personally love that. Who doesn't love that, right? But I want them to talk about the transformation they felt or their student felt or their child felt okay, that they saw as a parent. I have a dance studio. So I want them to talk about their transformation. And then that review is then put on the Google page, okay? And I also incentivize them. I say, if you can get this done within the next 48 hours, I have a special gift for you, okay? And that gift, you guys, can be it can be so little. It can be a card. It can be a Starbucks card. It can be, it doesn't need to be a lot. Okay, but I give my people who do honor that, I give them a, a, a little gift as a thank you. Okay, now that review, A, is super for Google because people are Googling your business, right? They're Googling what you offer and what you have. But I use that Google review. Now it's documentation for marketing. It's um, the exact words I need to say to gather other people. And I can screenshot that review for other things and we can talk about that in your coaching if that's what you're interested in. But these, this review, you guys, that review that your people leave you is huge for your business, okay? It's huge and that is what I focus on. I don't care about my likes. I don't care how many views I get even right now on this. I am so focused on my visibility because I know my people, where they come from is number one, word of mouth, number two, Google, number three, Facebook, okay? So those are where I spend my time. Okay, so I hope this was helpful for you if you have a brick and mortar. And when I say brick and mortar, it doesn't literally need to be that. It needs to be a business where you own your website. Okay, so take that, run with it. 
apply it, take action, ask for those reviews so that you can get your visibility up there free, okay, and effectively, okay? Message me, hit below, comment. Um, if you want more information, come on over into the Nitty Gritty podcast. First of all, listen to it. There's wisdom on less than five minute episodes usually on nuggets that you can take just like this. Otherwise, come on into my Facebook group in the Nitty Gritty where we dive deeper into what I talk about on the podcast as well as answer your questions. Okay, guys, have a great week. Peace.